Hello all. My new discovery speech is on a new antibiotic called Tyxobactam. The purpose of my speech is to inform you, the viewers, and also the readers of the speech, of a newly discovered helpful antibiotic that can assist you in times of need. Things that I would like to cover in the speech and that you take away are what is the new antibiotic and how is it discovered, and I also plan to discuss how the antibiotic will help each person and the significant role it will play in our society. There hasn't been a new antibiotic discovered from a scientist in the past 30 years. The first and one of the more significant points that I would like to discuss is the new antibiotic, Tyxobactin, and it may be better than most of the existing drugs on the markets currently. The development of this new antibiotic is such a huge boost to the medicine community. Tyxobactin is a small molecular antibiotic that is an active agent against gram-positive bacteria. Tyxobactin is a very highly effective antibiotic against tuberculosis and it can be used to cure with a single drop rather than treat with multiple antibiotics. The antibiotic can also treat Crohn infections which are caused by MRSA, and that is highly resistant to the antibiotics. There have been growing fears in the medicine industry for quite some time that they fear there has been running out of an effective antibiotic with the increasing rise of these superbugs and new rapidly spreading diseases around the world. So I would like to discuss who is responsible for finding this and how the creation of the new antibiotic came to light. The new discovery could just be the start of even more findings for the antibiotics. Professor Salva Epstein, who works in our state at Northeastern University in Boston, is the co-discoverer of Tyxobactam. This antibiotic was found within a random soil sample and it contains a bacterial cell wall synthesis, which means it makes bacteria less likely to develop any type of resistance to it. Professor Epstein has said that this is just the tip of the iceberg for researchers. So what are some of the drawbacks from Tyxobactam? And is Tyxobactam antibiotic going to help us with further findings of new antibiotics in the future? The Tyxobactam antibiotic is currently only being tested on lab mice, and it has been very effective in killing bacteria. There are many years of clinical trials before it can start being tested on humans. The antibiotic has been super aggressive with killing the bacteria, and it did not cause more damage to mice than researchers originally thought it would. This antibiotic will most definitely be affected once further testing has been accomplished. Unfortunately, since 99% of bacteria cannot be grown within lab conditions, this would definitely be one of the downfalls to test Tyxobactin's true interactions with the human population. So think about when you're sick and how you may take antibiotics to help fight off an infection or illness, and how constant new antibiotics can continue to improve our future. This Tyxobactin antibiotic will definitely help our future. So hopefully the information that I have provided to you helps you understand a little bit more about the new antibiotic and how amazing it is that a new one has been formed. Tyxobactin may definitely open the gateway to researchers for finding additional cures to other diseases that people may experience around the world. People will never stop getting ill in the near future, but with continuous developments, the illnesses that are spread may decrease. For more information, you can look at any of the works cited pages to read up on this new antibiotic. Thank you.